Did you know how blended refrigerant behavior is defined? In the following minutes, we will discuss zeotropic and azeotropic refrigerant blends, plus the definition of glide and fractionation. Zeotropic blends are a mixture of two or more components. The components of this refrigerant have different boiling or bubble points. An example of a zeotropic blend is any 400 series refrigerant, such as R407C, which is a blend of R32, R125, and R134A. An azeotropic refrigerant is a mixture of two or more components that boil at the same temperature. The components in this type of refrigerant will evaporate and condense together as one. An example of an azeotropic refrigerant is R502, which is a blend of R22 and R115. In this case, there is no refrigerant glide to worry about. But you may ask, what is refrigerant glide? Glide is the difference between the boiling point of the most volatile component compared to the least volatile component within the refrigerant blend. For example, R407C at 40 PSIG has a dew point, that's the point of condensation, of 21.94 degrees Fahrenheit and a bubble point, the point of evaporation, of 10.44 degrees Fahrenheit. This means that this particular zeotropic blend has approximately 11.5 degrees Fahrenheit of glide. In this connection, there is one additional point to consider and that is fractionation. Let's continue using R407C. And let's say the bottle is stored at room temperature. Each component of this refrigerant blend will boil off at different temperatures separating from the liquid mixture. The vapor of each refrigerant would occupy its own space above the liquid. This is known as fractionation. Because these components have differing properties, there may be more of one gas at the top of the refrigerant bottle than the other. That is why it is important to charge this type of refrigerant as a liquid to ensure the system receives the full blend. It is recommended, however, that this type of refrigerant is flashed into the system to avoid the possibility of liquid entering the compressor, damaging that compressor.